This question asks how a contraceptive pill works. So what we need to say is that it inhibits the production of follicle-stimulating hormone. And as a result of that, for the second mark, we need to say the eggs do not mature. We cannot say that it inhibits FSH production and eggs aren't released because that's not down to FSH. Likewise, it doesn't answer the question if we just talk about what FSH normally does. So let's look at some student responses. Okay, so this student clearly says that FSH is inhibited, one mark, but then he says that the egg becomes more difficult to be fertilised. No mark there, because of course, the egg's not going to be fertilised. Okay, and in this answer, apart from the fact it's very difficult to read, that word that's circled, I think it's meant to say hormone, um, a contraceptive pill contains hormone that cuts out the release of another, preventing fertilisation. The student's actually talking about negative feedback, which is great, but it doesn't answer the question. We want a more specific response. We want the words FSH to be mentioned. Now, this answer is an excellent example of how some students can write ambiguously. So let's have a little read through. Contraceptive pills will normally contain estrogen. Brilliant. No marks, though. Estrogen inhibits the release of FSH. Perfect. One mark. However, he then says, estrogen inhibits the release of FSH, which causes eggs to develop. So does the student mean that the inhibition of FSH causes the eggs to develop? Or does he mean FSH normally causes the eggs to develop? This sentence could be helped if the student had written, estrogen inhibits the release of FSH, which normally causes eggs to develop. I've given him the mark anyway. His next sentence goes on to clarify, which is good. He says, if there are no developed eggs, there will be no ovulation, meaning that the female cannot become pregnant. The downside of that extra clarifying sentence is it's more time. He's using time to expand on a sentence which, if he'd written more carefully in the first place, would save him some, some time in the exam. And this is how to word your answer concisely. Just pause this frame and have a read through of the information. The question asks you to evaluate the methods used by Pincus in trialing the contraceptive pill. When, it, when you're asked to evaluate, what they want is for you to say the good things that you did and the bad things. What are the limitations? And when you write your answers, you need to be explaining, I'm writing this because it's good, I'm writing this because it's bad. So let's have a look at some student responses. Okay, so this student, for the first few sentences where she talks about a pre-trial experiment, the side effects, and not telling the women that it was an experiment, she's preceded that with the words should have. This infers that she's talking about cons, negative aspects of the trial. For the last sentence, she's written, the guy thought that giving uneducated women the pill that others would uh, be able to use it around the world. It's a valid point, but she should have preceded it really with the word however to now show that she's talking about a pro. So I call this constructive marking. I've put the word in there at the front to show her how she should have done it, and I've given her the marking point. Okay, in this answer, the student says the methods were unethical because the subject did not know that they were subjects. Um, so I've given a one mark for that because basically she's not, they're not aware that it's an experiment. And by talking about the fact that it's unethical means that it's a con. Much better, actually, if you separate them out into pros and cons. She also says, and so it was not consensual. There was also no placebo or double-blind trials and no research done on the other organisms before human subjects. So all of that is true, but they've given you the information in the passage to draw your answers from. So none of this information is in the passage, so therefore you're, you're going further away from what they want you to do. 
so be guided by the question itself. 